I'm out in the Oxpeace Wildlife Corridor. Um, I'm adjacent to one of the newly created dragonfly ponds, which has been rapidly colonised by a number of the species that occur at WWT Slimbridge. We're out here on a really hot, warm day, so there's lots of activity, not least species like broad-body chaser. There's a male behind me charging around, keeping any potential intruding males away from his territory, and there's also lots of azure damselflies on the surface laying eggs at the moment. Uh, this corridor is actually part of our wild safari trail, so we would pass by here on the route when we're making our way around the reserve. It's a really good way to catch up with dragonfly species at Slimbridge, but it's not the only way to catch up with them. We've got lots of little freshwater ponds dotted around the site, be it South Finger, there's some dedicated dragonfly ponds there, and a nice little trail around the reed bed. But dragonflies occur pretty much everywhere. They're not always associated with water. They do drift off. You find them in the hedgerows, in the fields, pretty much anywhere. You can encounter them on sites, but certainly the wild safaris are, are the best way to catch up with a, a good range of species. So we're really uh, fortunate at Slimage with all the habitat that's been created. We've been colonised by a, a number of species in recent years. And of the 57 species that occur in the UK, we regularly get 25 plus going back about a decade ago now we were colonized by scarce chasers or blue chasers which is a good name for them because they've got the blue eyes and the blue body in the case of the males we've got a really high number of them at the moment an abundance of, of scarce chasers around in the ditch systems one of the common questions we get asked here is what is the difference between damselflies and dragonflies damselflies are very small generally have a very weak flight and you usually find them very close to the water by contrast, dragonflies, very strong flyers, much larger, more robust insect. They hold their wings at right angles to the body. When they're perched up and they're sort of basking, you find them with their wings out like this. Whereas the damselflies, the wings are generally in line with the body. There is an exception. Emerald damselflies just have their wings slightly open, often referred to as a spread wing. Also, with dragonflies, their eyes tend to meet at the top of the head. So their eyes are joined together. With damselflies, they're separated. So that's a good way to be able to identify between damselflies and dragonflies. When you next visit WWT Slimbridge, do keep an eye out for dragonflies and damselflies around the reserve. Very, very good chance you're gonna connect with them somewhere. Look at the various ponds, check the hedgerows, the ditches, they can be anywhere. If you've got a camera, if you've got your phone, do try and get a picture of them. It's a brilliant way of being able to record your sighting, go back home and check out what the identification of it is and assign the right species. Otherwise, do please share your photos, videos with us on our social media channels. We can have a look at them and identify them for you.